September will mark two months since tops on Jefferson Avenue reopened. Its closure after the May 14th mass shooting highlighted the desperate need for more resources and access to fresh foods. Two months later, groups are still stepping up to support the East Buffalo community. Channel 2's Liz Lewin tells us about the new efforts to make sure those resources never go away. Liz? Well, good evening, Scott and Mary Alice. I have to tell you, it was such a great feeling watching people stand in line to buy fresh fruits and vegetables in their own community, produce that is accessible to them and affordable to them and for them. Look out, Western New York, the Delvin Griders Farmer's Market is on the rise. This conversation should be all about access, access to the same things that everybody else have in their own neighborhood. The call for more resources in East Buffalo has been ringing loud for decades, long before the massacre at the tops on Jefferson Avenue. Neighbors like Dwayne Muhammad and his wife say they're trying to make healthier lifestyle choices, but that's a hard thing to do when you live in a food desert. This is what we need more of, not the fast foods, not the greasy foods, not the hamburgers, not the fried foods. We need healthy, wholesome food like we're getting from here. These are the scallions. Right. I see they look some, good, too. They do. They look, wow, fresh. They look very fresh. Now, Key Bank is stepping up, sponsoring a new bi-weekly farmer's market in partnership with African Heritage Food Co-op, Buffalo Go Green, and Delvin Grider Community Center. We found out about it through Facebook. I did. It was posted on my page, so I posted it on my story, and then we said we're going to come down here to shop locally uh, to give back to those who give to us, and here we are. Jackie Dowell and his team at the African Heritage Food Co-op brought crates of fresh fruits and veggies for everyone to enjoy. We have yellow watermelon, pink watermelon, orange watermelon, and we service Niagara Falls, South Buffalo, Lackawanna, anywhere any people need it. We, we travel. We also deliver to people's houses if they need it and everything. Fresh produce will now be available every other Thursday at the center through the end of the year. It wasn't lost on me that there was only one supermarket that served this entire community. A community that has 110,000 people, only one supermarket. I felt that something needed to be done. Between here and Tops, it's over two miles, and we know that a significant population on the east side don't have access to vehicles. so. Why not on Delvin Grinder? Organizers say the goal here is to make healthy living and eating more accessible and affordable, especially in minority communities. And I'm sure they're going to let us know what else that they need. And as we hear from them, we will try our very best to accommodate. Again, this new urban farmers market is open every other Thursday while supplies last from 4 to 7 p.m. They went quickly today, so I'm warning you, if you want to check it out, you want to head there earlier than later. The hope again is to get as many people out as possible so more organizations will join the effort. I've got more details posted on our website at WGRZ.com right now. Reporting in the Information Center tonight, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.